What is going on guys, it's Hector here with Vaping Lizard and today we have another review of an, an RDA and today we have the Vortiz RDA. So we're going to be using this device, we're going to talk about it up close, down personal, we're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what works best for me in this RDA and all the good information that you need to know and where you can get one. So let's go down to the close-ups and check out the RDA itself. So this is the device broken down. Um, right here, obviously, we have your chuff cap, type, type style, very wide. If I had a guess, I'll say, I'll say about 15 millimeters, maybe, somewhere like that. I don't got the full information, but that's it. Single O-ring, very thick, very nice and snug when you put it in the device. Very nice cap. Then we got our barrel section. You got the kind of slanted style airflow there for how it's designed on the other part of the barrel. There's Vortiz right there. Very solid piece of device. Here we got the section that screws down and um, gives you all the airflow. You go, you got those slanted slots like that. For that uh, to give you that maximum maximum um, uh, versatile flavor addy dual o-ring two o-rings like I said very nice and snug very nice well manufactured o-rings are not cheap then we get here to the meat and potatoes of the device and as you can see I have a vertical build right there nice nice thick o-ring right there on the bottom where this portion uh, sits so very nice that it's a two posts as you can see two posts not very deep juice for us for sure you can't see with the cotton but the cotton's really it's the, ju the juice was literally right above right like right half halfway down to the o-ring so it's not very deep at all very small uh, juice well, but having the screw on there as long as you don't take it off you can drench your RDA all the way to the top and you'll be good um, it's a 510 it has a 510 connector I don't feel like taking that off but you get the idea it's a 510 connector obviously with a 510 pin um, you got the peak insulator right there where the positive post is at And like I said, once you put this in here, it's pretty much for an innovative vortex airflow to maximize the deep, you know, depth of flavor. Already mentioned that. Uh, I wish I could take it apart, but it's, it's a squonk, squonk uh, positive pin, as you can see, you know, with the insulator and all that stuff right there. But overall, very nice device. Um, this part, having to be able to take this off and having all the access, it's so much easier for for you to build on this device so that's a very good uh, positive thing and if I was wonderful for my for my style so aside from what you see in the close-ups as you can see the two posts to sign um, as I showed you earlier yes I do have a vertical build like I said but those are the that's the only build with Cantha that I think that really works really good I put in there a, uh, a parallel build um, dual coil and it didn't really work too good. It was The airflow wasn't hitting it the right way for it to stay really cool I mean, that's just for the hot build obviously with a cooler build it won't be that problem But if you want to have a hot build in here like a you know a dual coil a dual parallel uh, Whatever nano macro coils, whatever you call them Anything that's gonna be hot and it's gonna be a hot like, you know a parallel uh, parallel build horizontal um, it's gonna be a little too hot, too warm, even for me that I'm a type of vapor that I like my vape warm. It's just a tad too, um, too warm. And I slapped the vertical and it's perfect. I mean, the, the, the vape shoots right straight up. I got the airflow going straight up with it, barely touching the coil so it keeps it cool enough for my desire. So let's, uh, let's take a few puffs and see how, how it performs with this build that I have in here. That is a 0.13. A vertical uh, 0.13 build in here. Pretty 
performs pretty good. This RDA is not really your um, for you cloud chase. Well, you can use it, but it's not really meant for you know cloud chasing. It's meant a little more for flavor. Um, like I said earlier, it's a versatile flavor addy. So it's kind of like more for that, you know, that juice, juice, that, that, to get that good taste out of your e-liquid. And even though the vertical build works really good, I had yesterday a, uh, a single coil build here, nickel, and it worked so, so much better um, for nickel build. I don't know why. Um, I also, I mean, I have heard that from other reviewers that have done a review on it, and they also said that it's a better RDA for um, nickel builds, and I can understand why. I don't it's just it works better I guess the airflow, airflow is very very minimal especially how it's designed so I guess with the nickel build is a little cooler babe temp control tends to be a little more cooler so I can see why this device is better with a nickel build let's take a few more hits and um, and we'll talk about the pros and cons So, pro, uh, let's go with the cons first. Let's do the, the, the sad part first and then the happy part. Um, like you've seen, you know, you get a uh, 510, dri uh, 510 drip tip adapter for this, for your 510 drip tips. Not really upset about it because I have plenty of 510s, but for papers out there that don't have a big budget and probably don't have one, it would be a nice addition to have a 510 drip tip in there with a 510 adapter i mean it's enough with the adapter but eh, it could have the you know just a, a regular you know simple dough ring uh type drip tip in there even a metal one would have worked doesn't matter um the space it, like i said earlier about the space it's a 22 millimeter device but it's a 22 millimeter up right there at the corner but once you add this little the little part that unscrews and screws on again it takes up about two to three millimeters so technically you only have a like a 19 to 20 millimeter build deck so it's very very small when i put my uh dual parallel build i did dual parallel five wraps so about 10 wraps with regular wire and it took up pretty much all the space i had to lift it up very very high and it was still like half a millimeter from touching the this low barrel section that screws and unscrews so eh, it could be a bigger build deck but again, it's kind of more designed to you for you to put a build in between the the post. That's what I did with my nickel. I put it in between the post, and it worked pretty damn good. So, eh, bigger build that could be useful. Um, what else? What else? I think that that's it. It's just that one having that 510 drip tip and maybe a bigger build deck. Maybe making this a little barrel a little thinner or make it a little bit wider so it can be closer to the to the to the border that actually screws on the deck to the to the mod um that's it about that pros it's great for flavor that, that's just that's just the reality it works it's great for flavor um i put nickel building in other rdas that i have and they're great but in this one it tends to be uh, a little more bumpy on the air uh, on the flavor which is good and that's what I like, especially with my, my fluffer nutter. I don't have, have unic unicorn bottle, but this is fluffer nutter for the bakery. And this is like my own. I catch myself every day at some point in the day. I'm going back to this flavor. I just I'm hooked up to this flavor. Um, but yeah, it's great for flavor, so I, I enjoy that part. Uh, the airflow is just perfect for the nickel builds that which I do like too. I like to put nickel builds on RDAs better than having it on a tank. And it's a very solid device. I mean, even though this is a clone, it's still solid. I mean, I haven't had a, an authentic one, but this RD is very, very, very solid for being a clone. So I do enjoy that. I like when clones come out pretty damn good, you know, so they can be as close as possible as an authentic. It never will be the same, but it's pretty good for being a clone. So that's that. So that was it for this review, guys. This is the review of the Vortiz RDA. Again, like as always, right down the bottom, there's a retail website, and I'm gonna have more information at the end of the video, so stay till the end. I wanna thank Vaping Lizards for having me and doing this review, and until next time, vape safe.